Hello, today we will be learning about charts. So what is a chart? A chart is a tool that you can use to communicate data graphically. Including a chart in a document may allow the readers to see the meaning behind the numbers and it can be used to demonstrate comparisons. So let's take a look at the graphs we have. We have bar chart, line chart, pie chart, gun chart, bubble chart, map, tree map, and scatter plot. Okay, so what is a bar chart? Bar chart is one of the most common data visualization methods. It can be used to compare data categories, highlight differences, show trends and outliers, reveal historical and lows briefly. Then we have line chart. Line chart is a straightforward way to visualize changes in one value relative to another. Then we have pie chart. Pie charts are useful when adding details to other visualization. But the thing is, this chart does not give the viewer a way to compare information quickly and accurately. Then we have map. If you have geographical information associated with your data, Maps are a simple and compelling way to show how location is correlated with the trends in your data. Then we have bubble chart. Although bubbles are not technically their own type of visualization, using them as techniques add details to scatter plots or maps to show the relationship between three or more measures. Varying the size and the color of the circle creates visually compelling charts that present a large volume of data at once. Gun chart. Gun charts display a project schedule or show changes in activity over short time. It shows steps that need to complete before others can begin along with resource allocated. Then we have tree map. Tree map is an effective way to investigate the relationship between different variables showing if one variable is a good predictor of another or if they tend to change independently. Now let's take a look at how to create a chart in MS Word. Okay, uh, I'll get myself a new document. Okay, so here. So, first thing you have to do is go to this insert and click on this chart icon. Okay, so after clicking it, a window will, in window like this, will pop onto your screen. You can choose any kind of chart you want by clicking on these icons. For example, if you want a line chart, you can click here. If you want a pie chart, you can click here. If you want a bar chart, you can click here. For now, I'll be going with the bar chart. So then you have to click OK after selecting the chart type you want. And then a chart will appear on the screen along with an Excel sheet to input your information. So if I change information on this sheet like this, you can see the chart changes itself. So you can uh, change the data on this Excel sheet uh, and it will change the data on the chart. Okay, so what is this button? That button is used to the uh, change the layout options. As you can see, there are several options you can use there. And this plus icon is for add more elements to your chart. For example, if you want to add the access titles, you have to tick this uh, square and it will add the access titles and data labels. There are so many stuff like that. You can uh, also adjust the alignment of your chart. For example, if you want to add the legend to your right, you have to click right here and it will go to the right. And the next one is for the styles. There are several styles you can apply to your chart. Okay, for now I'll be going with the dark one. And the last button is for advanced options. There are so many other stuff you can do there. Uh, we'll discuss that one in late. Thank you, that's all for today. Thank you.